Did Hamas create a website boasting about massacring Israeli civilians? According to multiple Israeli officials and social media users, this shocking website shows the true face of the military organization governing Gaza. Let's take a closer look. Gruesome images and videos of torture, burnt bodies and dead children. These are the shocking clips posted on what many social media users claim is Hamas's official website, Hamas.com. The website shows the civilian casualty count, including how many children have been killed since the group attacked Israel on the 7th of October. The website has been widely shared by the State of Israel's Twitter account and by other officials, such as the Israeli government spokesperson. But when digging deeper, we found many elements that conclude this website was not created by Hamas. It's a satirical website aimed at exposing the atrocities committed by the Gaza-based group. The first thing we found strange is that only pro-Israeli accounts were sharing this alleged official website, not accounts close to Hamas. Moreover, the content on the website is not in line with Hamas's official statements. The website proudly boasts the death of civilians since the 7th of October. But the group's leaders still to this day refuse to acknowledge the killing of innocent people in Israel, despite evidence to the contrary. The website's domain name was created in 1999 and was up for sale multiple times. It has mostly been inactive. This new shocking version was only created in November 2023. So who is behind this website? Well, it's hard to tell, but what is strange is that the site's creator used Wix.com, an Israeli-based website hosting service. This led a number of Israeli media to claim people attempting to promote Israel's political agenda were behind this website. But still, this doesn't explain why this website was even created. Moreover, Wix.com is a global company that has offices all around the world, so anyone can create a website without necessarily being affiliated to the state of Israel. So does Hamas even have an official website? Yes, it does, but it uses the Palestinian extension .ps at the end. And according to Internet Archives, here's what the website looked like in September 2023 until it was suddenly and without any explanation taken down. For more fact checks and investigations, check out our website, yournews.com.